In this part, I'm going to be showing you how you can export your animation as a AVI file so that you can upload it to YouTube within Miku Miku Dance. So uh, before I go ahead and do that, let's just um, hit the play button to show what we've already came up with. Okay, so pretty dang basic, nothing fancy, but you get the idea. It's something that you can export. So up in file, what you want to do is choose render to AVI file. And this is going to create a video file in AVI format. Uh, with whatever name you put in here, let's say uh, just tutorial, go ahead and hit save. It'll give you some options. Uh, your AVI size will probably default to something else. Uh, we can actually go back into the menu and change that later to change the export size. But what you're going to need to do here at a very basic level is to set the frames that you want to export. So starting at frame zero, uh, we can go ahead and select all of the frames, but I actually need to check how many frames there are. So we have 100. Uh, you can have it stop at 100, 110, wherever you need it to stop. But if you actually need to change the screen size before you export, you would do that in view screen size and you can set whatever dimensions you need. Uh, YouTube usually runs on 720p or 1000 ADP, which is 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080. So I'll just leave it here. We'll go back up to export and we're going to do 100 frames. So render to AVI file, tutorial, enter, frames 0 to 100 in the recording box, output the wave, and uh, the video encoder I've been using is DV video encoder. Um, because if you output as a raw AVI file, it's going to take up a lot more space on your computer. So the DV video encoder reduces the file size by like 30 times. So select that and it will output the animation. Just wait for all of the frames to actually get done. And now we can go to the output location of the video file and open it up. So that's how you export your Miku Miku dance animations at a very basic level. You may need to play a little bit around with the renderers or the export encoders to get the quality to your liking. But aside from that, that's uh, basically how you do it.